Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to our 31 day download with your own Dr. Tanya Williams. Grateful, thankful, and excited for another day in the land of the living. Good morning to you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Decreeing and declaring over our day, speaking and confessing uh, that we know that God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. So we send his word on assignment on this morning. Good morning to you and welcome, welcome, welcome to our 31 day download. Our 31 day down download with your own Dr. Tanya Williams. We thank God for day number four as we're on our 31 days of, con of consecration. Good morning to you and welcome, welcome, welcome. As we're coming on, I'm just sharing the love, sharing the love, getting it to those who need to have it in this in this day, sharing the love. I share it to my main Facebook page as well as to my um, Keeping the Momentum page. So it streams on three pages, Prayer Consecration page, my Keeping the Momentum page, and my main page. So good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 31-day download. Um, after class, I'll... um put the nugget out for this day i didn't do it this morning because i was i was in sleepy land <laughs> i was in sleepy land but i'm good now but good morning to you and welcome uh to our 31 day download you might hear some noise in the background because uh the the anointed cat has joined us this morning so if you hear some rustling and noises or some meowings or whatever that that's him i guess he just feel he feels he wants to be a part of the consecration this morning so but good morning everybody and welcome 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 to our 31 day download giving everybody an opportunity to come on the line come on the line and we're just so grateful for what god is doing this morning oh uh, announcements uh let's see what's going on uh we're on our, thir our 31 days uh today is consecration day monday wednesday and friday we're consecrating from 6 a.m to 12 noon liquids only some of us myself i guess my consecration is 31 days because i've been doing it for the last couple of days but uh monday wednesday friday 6 a.m to 12 noon liquids if some of you need to modify modify the time it's fine someone said to me they gotta do 5 to 11 or some said they had to do 4 to 10 or some said they had to do 7 to 1 you know as long as you get your six your six hours and get your six hours and that 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 there is, is fine but most of us we can do the six to uh, uh 12 that will be good and again your time of prayer your time of spending time in prayer i was talking to my um my class last night i was talking to my class last night and um i was sharing with them i said sometimes you have to be intentional about your time with god intentional if some of you are having time problems carving out time for god ask god ask god god help me carve out the time that i need to spend with you you know for the last well today's the day number four last four days three o'clock my eyes was open if it's not 259 it's three o'clock exactly my eyes open because i was intentional about spending quality time with the lord intentional be be intentional about that and not only just your personal private time but that time that you need to god to carve out that time to make that imprint in your life we have to be intentional we have to be intentional amen amen so um so uh 31 days october 1st to october 31st we are doing 31 days of spending time with god and then we're consecrating monday wednesday friday some of us were just doing it the full 31 days whatever your your lot is you follow the leading of the spirit of god amen amen and then tomorrow 7 a.m keeping a momentum of prayer that streams on trueliferadio.net they also stream the 31 day download some of you have been asking me dr williams um i have friends that i want them to be a part of this however they don't have facebook it's fine you can tell them to turn tune into trueliferadio.net true life radio it's an internet radio station true life radio that and they can get it straight from the internet they don't even have to be on social media so they can do that also too my my team is also uploading the videos to to my youtube page my youtube page for those of you who do not have facebook and you want to hear the recordings over again 
you want to hear the recordings over again, you can go to my YouTube page. I think my team, they might be a day or two behind, but you can go to my, my, my YouTube page and you can listen to them again. If For those of you, especially those of you who listen via conference call line, who do not have social media, you can go to my YouTube page or you can listen. Uh, if you don't want to dial in, you can listen to trueliferadio.net and they stream the uh, the prayer, the consecration, uh, the 31 day download and the aroma prayer live, as well as keeping a memento is live on the internet. Okay, so we make sure we we get every platform, we get every platform we're trying to cover. We got conference call line, we got social media, we have YouTube, and we have the internet. So you have many different um, um, platforms for the word to get across. Amen. Amen. So tomorrow, keeping a momentum of prayer, and then 10 o'clock tomorrow, the Power Gathering, 1540 Hempstead Turnpike in Elmont, New York. We've been having a good time in the Holy Ghost as the Father's really been uh, ministering to our hearts and ministering to our spirits. Also to my my itinerary, uh, my itinerary for the month of October will be up by Monday. I, I do apologize for the, because for the delay, that... That's not my graphic team's fault. That's my fault because I, I just got so busy. And I, I have my class on Thursday, my Release the Living Waters class. And it was supposed to be 50 people, but it's like a little, <laughs> almost triple that. So with the homeworks and assignments and stuff I have to mark, it took a little extra time that I have. But I will get that out so everybody will know what's going on for the month of October. My November is very busy, but the month of uh, October uh we're going to uh we will we'll be we'll be supporting and ministering in different places amen amen as we go forth uh this morning the word of the lord that was in my spirit i was i was laying here i was laying here and i and my and you know you ever had to a point where you wake up and your spirit is singing i get that all the time and i know that that spirit of the lord is just ministering to me through through my spirit and this morning, I kept hearing, hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold, hold, I say, to God's unchanging hand. And that's what I heard this morning, hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Mm. Build your hope on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. So my topic this morning is hold on. Is hold on, hold on. I'm so glad you joined, Charna. I I dreamt about you this morning. I I I dreamt about you this 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 this, this morning. I was praying for you. So let me just stop for a minute, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, as I lift Charna up to you in prayer, Father God, touch her body right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we command every cell, every tissue, every organ to line up with your word right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bind the hand of Satan. We bind his works right now. We cancel the plan that the enemy is trying to brew in the spirit. Satan, the Lord God, rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Father, we speak the word over her life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, that she is going forth with a new level of strength and power, Father. Lord God, to fulfill the assignment of the Lord that you placed upon her life. Father, I thank you right now, Lord God, that your word, oh God, will not fall to the ground, but Father, it will go forth in the mighty power of what you have stated for her. And we thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, I'm so glad you came on, Charna, because I, I, I dreamt you last night. And in the dream, I was praying for you. In the dream, you was there, and I was laying hands on you, and I was praying for you. Mm, but, mm, yeah, sha, and I'm Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. All is well, all is well, all is well. Okay, getting back to my topic. Sorry, guys. Every now and then, you have to break for a commercial break and then go back to what you have assigned. See, when Lord Lord drops people in your heart, he drops it in your heart for a reason. And I remember in the dream, I saw her very clearly, very clearly. I said, oh, I haven't, I haven't spoken to Charna in a minute. And then I see her come on the line. So the Lord knows exactly what he needs. Mm. Okay, again, hold to his hands. God's unchanging hand. So our topic this morning is what? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Ma Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. One thing I want you to understand and know and believe and know that every word and every promise that, that, God, that God has spoken over our lives is ours. 
the words of the word of the Lord that is in the Bible is ours for us to grab hold to it for us to stand in assurance and know that well God says it will come to pass because God cannot lie and he will he does not change uh-huh the only person that can nullify the blessing is you the only person that can can nullify what God has stated is is you that's why we have to be so careful what we do what we say and how we go forth because the enemy is very shrewd and he comes to steal kill and destroy but we thank God that victory is ours Jesus Christ has laid victory at our feet why because he is an unchanging God and no enemy enemy on this earth uh huh and the form of man and the form of satan can harm us or take away the victory that we have i want you to lay your hands on yourself and say victory is mine mhm mm victory is mine victory is mine victory is mine victory is mine yeah 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 victory is mine uh huh and victory is mine and sometime when we are holding on uh huh when it means to hold on it means that at that moment in time when somebody tells you to hold on it seems like you get into a point where you're done where you're tired we don't you don't want to feel, be bothered with it you just want to leave it alone you just want to walk away but god says this morning hold on mm -hmm. hold on hold on to the word hold on to that position hold on to that job hold on to that wife hold on to that husband hold on because things are getting ready to change what the enemy wants to do he wants to move you out of your position and your posture uh-huh we talked last monday about the three p's uh-huh people position and posture we want to be careful and know that the enemy is very shrewd and he'll do anything to move you out of what has been assigned to you what has been given to you understand and know that a job is yours when god gives you a job a job is yours the only way that you could be relinquished from a job is one or two things uh if god's giving you the job and the people are happy to happy with you if you hand in your resignation papers or if you quit you now relinquish your position and now it's open for somebody else i, I want you to turn to the neighbor i want you to turn to your neighbor turn to the pillow turn to the cat and the dog and say don't quit don't quit don't quit don't quit don't quit, quit. uh-huh Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, one of the issues that we have is that we don't like to wait. Mm -hmm. We don't like to wait. Uh huh. Uh, it seems that we all we spend our time in life waiting. Uh huh. Waiting for something to take place in our lives. You know, we we're we're, 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 we're waiting for our meal. We're waiting for an appointment. We're just in like we're waiting for a race. We're just waiting, 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 waiting. And I know the song says, I don't mind waiting, but some of you mind waiting. You know, it's not, you don't mind, you know, uh, uh, we know, we, I, I, I remember when that song was birthed out in 5 a.m. prayer. I remember when the Lord downloaded that, that song and we were all singing it and it was just the song of the Lord for that hour and the anointing was flowing. But sometimes if you really be honest with yourself, you do mind waiting. You don't mind waiting when it's a week or a month or a couple of months. But when that thing turned into years, that thing turned there and you're seeing summer, fall, winter, and spring pass you by for, for a decade and you're still waiting after a while, you start to get antsy, you start to get agitated, you start to get to a point where you're like, God, what is the use? But I come to let you know, hold on. Hold on. Do not get impatient and waiting. Uh-huh. Do not get impatient and waiting because what God says, it will come to pass. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall what? Stand forever. Uh-huh. See, you have to get an expectation. We must expect God to answer. Uh-huh. We must expect God to move. But in the answering and the move, sometimes it doesn't happen right away. But see, we have to understand that we cannot give up or look for someone or something to meet the need because that because that's what happens to us when it starts getting a long time you know we start looking for other avenues to um, fulfill the word look at abraham and sarah honey they they they've got a word from the lord oh yeah you're gonna be the father of many nations you're gonna be the mother of many nations ah sha 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 they got all excited they stand on the world all of a sudden honey they getting older and older and everything's breaking down and everything's looking old and decrepit and they're like wait a minute what's going on here oh but here come this beautiful handmaiden looking all wonderful and great and she was sarah's maid said well you know what she still got it going on you you have a child by her but understand this that ishmael was the child of the flesh while isaac was his child of the promise see god's promise still come to pass but they they formed the ishmael see some of you you're birthing ishmael's instead of waiting for isaac 
You're birthing Ishmael's instead of waiting for Isaac. Let me say that again. You're birthing Ishmael's instead of waiting for, 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 for Isaac. See, understand and know that God's promise don't always come when you want it, but it'll be right on time. You got to allow you got you have to allow what God has stated to what work his process. When God has a word or when God has a plan for your life, he will strategically place you where you need to be placed to what to give you what you need. The only person who can who who can nullify and void it is you. The only person that can nullify and void it is 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 you. Uh-huh. But you have to learn how to wait. Uh -huh. The Bible says in Isaiah 40 and 31, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and do what? And not faint. Yeah. They should walk and not faint. Uh -huh. When we ask God to intervene on our behalf, he starts on the answer. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the Lord will show us what he's going to do, speak to us the outcome, and we get excited about the answer, we get excited about the outcome, but we don't like the process. We don't, we, we, we don't like the process. And that waiting now becomes the enemy of our souls. That waiting now becomes the enemy of our souls. Uh huh. Why? Because we we don't think that God cares about us, or we think that God has has forgotten about us, or we're saying, "Well, God, I know your prayer answering God. What happened? Cricket, cricket, cricket. I don't hear nothing. I don't see nothing. I don't feel nothing. But the word of the Lord has come unto me. God, what what is going on? Uh huh. See, you're not the only one that has been in that situation. You're not the only one that has been in that place. But see, you got to learn children that you gotta you can't get in a place where you quit quit trusting and believing and knowing that god will manifest his work mm -hmm. in daniel chapter 10 verse 12 and 13 some of you knew i was going there yeah daniel was in the same predicament he done prayed he done cried out he done he come a he done did all of that and he said wait a minute god what's going on daniel 10 12 and 13 said then said he unto me fear not daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. See, your word, that word has gone on assignment. That prayer has gone on on assignment and sometimes there are demonic delays and sometimes there are divine delays but in the demonic delays you cannot drop the word of the lord you got to keep praying and believing and standing on the word that the lord will bring it to pass and with the divine delays yes as a god whatever your will is concerning this situation let me learn how to rest let me learn how to relax and believe and know god lord god that you have it all under control see just like when we're hungry see Nowadays, we do not have to leave the comfort of our home. We don't leave that through the comfort of our home. If we're hungry, we can go order on on online, and then they have DoorDash and Grubhub and, and all these different platforms now that will bring the food to us. That will take the food, and they will bring they will bring the food to us, and we don't even we can stand there in our in, in, in our pajamas just waiting just waiting to get our food but see the L of the key element is is that whatever it is we're willing to wait for it whatever it is we're willing to wait for i was sharing with someone the other day there used to be a jamaican restaurant on uh jamaica avenue called called country style some of you might might remember country style that used to be in queens village oh my god the food was so so good when you went there on a friday saturday and sunday Oh my God, you could, you could not even get in the place. So you knew on Saturday or Friday night, if you wanted food, you had to call for your food an hour and a half or early. So if you wanted your food by seven, you got on that phone at least by 5.30, 5.30. And then so, and so, and because the food was so good, you knew what the deal was. So before, but, but, but before even your stomach started growling, you call about five o'clock, five, 5.30 to order your food. And they'll tell you an hour to get your food fine because you knew because you know the situation so then you get there you get to the place there's people double park triple park you got to park around the corner up the block or whatever you still didn't mind because you knew what you were getting it was worth the trip 
And then, then when you got there, there was about 30 people in the in this little storefront um, um, uh, uh, restaurant, everybody waiting for their food. So they had those that came in, they had those for pickup. So even when you got there, sometimes you had to wait another 15, 20 minutes. And we say, Dr. Williams, why would you wait almost two hours for food? Because you knew the food was good. You knew that you would be satisfied once you got that food. Now, we could have went to another Jamaican restaurant. We could have went to other restaurants and walked in and walked out without food. But when you know the quality of what you're getting, when you know that what you're going to get is going to be worth the wait, you, you don't mind waiting. See, what God has for you is worth the wait. What God has designated for your life is worth the wait. Mm -hmm. What God is going to do in your life and manifest through you is going to be worth the wait. So we have to learn and understand this, that, you know, God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. But your faith in God, your faith in God will always produce the victory that you need for your life. So there's times when you are in situations like this and you start to feel weary. The Bible says, be not weary in well-doing for you will do what? Reap if you faint not. Understand this, that I, the word of the Lord, the rhema word this morning is what? Hold on. That's what God is saying this morning. Hold on. Allow your faith to rise to another level. I was speaking in class last night and I said, Lord, give us a faith, a uh, increase our faith allow allow our faith to come up where where your word is let 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 your word become intimate with our faith and our faith become intimate with your word let there be a level of intimacy that comes that brings us to a place that we come into the fullness of what you have for us i want you to lay your hands on yourself and say just like the word of the lord has come forth i'm i'm worth the wait i'm worth the wait I'm worth the wait. And the promise is worth the wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're worth the wait. You're worth whatever it might be, that job, that in position, whatever it is, is going to be worth the wait. It's going to be worth the wait. The word, the word of the Lord to you this morning is what? Hold on. Hold on. Do not lean to the left hand. Do not lean to the right hand. But do what? Be steadfast and immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord our God. Why? Because don't give up. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Uh huh. Don't let people hinder you with unbelief and negative words, but trust what the living word of God and you will see the Anna manifest itself before your very eyes. I talked about that. I talked about that last night in class. How many of you, you were doing well and you were doing good and here comes somebody with their opinion or their thought and causes you to be delayed in something or causes you to even give up on what, on, on on what God has for you. The Bible says, you did run well, but who or what hindered you? Many of us, we've been hindered, not by ourselves. Now, some of us, we are dealing with the inner me, the inner me, the inner me, the en not the enemy, but the inner me that causes us to delay our own selves. But some of us, we were doing well, and here comes somebody that we trusted. Here comes somebody that has our ear, that spoke a word and said, no, I don't think that's for you. No, and cause a divine delay in our lives and cause our life to be shifted and, co and cause our life to be hindered and co cause our life to be behind time. But we speak to, we speak to our purpose. We speak to our assignment and we command the delay to come to come to the fore, the forefront to get us back on schedule. L lay your hands on yourself and say, I'm back on schedule. You might not be right now, but you got to speak it over your life. I'm back on schedule. I might have been delayed, but I'm back on schedule. I'm back on schedule. I'll give you a prime example. You might be traveling to the city and you've already worked it out where when, you know, if you take the eight, if you take the 730 train, it's going to get you to Penn Station at eight o'clock. Do you from there, you take, you could take a, 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 a bus and it'll get you to your, your destination by, by eight 30. If you miss the 730 train and you make miss, miss and you take the 745 train and now you find yourself that you're 15 minutes behind. Now, certain things has to be uh, recalibrated concerning the schedule that you planned out. So maybe instead of you taking the bus, you might now have to call an Uber to get you to where you need to get to on time. So there are certain things that even though you might have been delayed in one part, there could be a rescheduling or, or a recalibration. Just like, just like with your 
GPS. When you're following the the the, the uh, GPS and you make a wrong turn and it realizes that you made the wrong turn or you missed the or you missed the turn, you will hear your GPS say rerouting rerouting, 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 rerouting. And what it does, it looks where you are right now. And now it comes up with another schedule, another plan, another route to get you to where you need to go. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say, I'm going to get to my destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to my destination. I'm going to get to my destination. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to my destination. huh? I'm not giving up in this hour, but I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hands. I'm going to hold on in spite of what it looks like. I'm going to hold on in spite of the situation is. You know, sometimes the most challenging thing is when you're traveling someplace and you're doing good. You down, you down that, that road. And you moving all together, wonderful. You turn that corner, bam, traffic. That LIE is good for that. You doing well, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You you turn, you hit one of them exits, you're like, oh, man. And boom, bumper to bumper traffic. Now, see, I have worked on the island for God knows how many years. So I've kind of learned all the exits <laughs> on the LIE in the northern so when I get to point, honey, I get off that, honey, I'll be up all in them hills. I'll be up there in Williston Park and all them other little places, honey. I, I've learned, I've learned that, okay, wait a minute, I'm blocked here, but that next exit, I'm off. And I find my way to where, I, if I got to hit Hillside or hit Jericho Turnpike or hit Old Country, whatever I got to do, I got to get to where I need to go. And I've learned, and I've learned how to reroute. Sometimes you got to reroute, but then there's other times you just got to sit in it. There, there, there have been times where I've been traveling in, uh, uh, in certain places, um, uh, unless I have ways on. We have ways on, ways will take you out of the traffic to get you to where you need to go. But there's sometimes ways don't work. Honey, your, your GPS or your car don't work. The other applications don't work. You just got to sit in it. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. So whatever it might be this morning, maybe God's going to reroute you. Maybe you just have to sit in the traffic. But just know one thing, you're going to get to your destination. You're going to get to where God has called you. you you're going to get to what God has spoken over your life. I just need you to hold on. Hold on, children. Don't give up. Don't give up. I know it seemed hard. I know it seemed rough. It feel like you have been forgotten about. It seemed like you have felt overlooked and you've been challenged. But God says, hold on. God says, hold on. God says, hold on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on, children. Hold on. Hold on. Do not allow the enemy to whisper in your ear mm -hmm, and move you out your place of purpose and a position. Hold on and only move when God says move. Only go when God says go. God says hold on. I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning on the 31-day download as we seeking the face of the Lord. October 1st to October 31st. Join me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Aroma Prayer is on hiatus uh, for the month of October because this is our time for us to get our download. We are in our season of fertility. We're in our season of fertility. The Lord is making us fertile in this hour. And God is through the downloads and the impartations that he's giving us during our quiet time. He is allowing us to, he is allowing the deposit to touch that fertile part of us for us to bring forth and go. Do not take this season for, for granted, but hold on and make sure that you get all that God has ordained for your life. I want to thank you so much for joining this joining me this morning on the 31 day download. Join me tomorrow, 7 a.m. Keep it a momentum of prayer on trueliferadio.net and 10 a.m. Power Gathering, 1540 Hempstead Turnpike in Elmont, New York. Be blessed, be encouraged. Have a blessed, a wonderful, and awesome day in Jesus' name. God bless you.